for today's craft activity you're going to need some pipe cleaners, a pom-pom, some um, lollipop sticks, some glue and some wool. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to make a cross with two of our lollipop sticks and we're going to glue them together. Now that we've glued them together we're going to add a third lollipop stick like this. So now we have a shape that looks like this and we're just going to put it to one side so that it can dry. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to make a spider. So you need to take your pom-pom and your, and your um, pipe cleaners and you're going to cut them to size and you're going to make sure that you have eight legs. So now we have our spider, we're going to add some googly eyes so he has a face. So there we have our spider. In real life spiders can have lots of eyes, maybe five or eight. Uh, but I'm going to stick with two today because I think it makes them look quite cute. So now our lollipop sticks have dried, we're going to wrap the wool around to make a cobweb. This is a brilliant skill for children to develop. It means that they're going to be developing their fine motor skills. And it's really important that children can do this for later on when we're getting onto holding our pencil correctly and being able to draw and write. To make the cobweb effect, I'm going to hold the end of the wool with my thumb at the back and then I'm going to weave the wool over and under and over and under and I'm going to go round and round the um, lollipop sticks to make my cobweb. So here is our finished cobweb. I've used um, some hot glue to help to secure the um, wool in place. The next step is to add our spider. So we need to hot glue a little bit of wool um, to, the, to the top of our spider and a little bit to the cobweb. So here we have our finished spider's web and of course a spider. I hope you like it. See you soon. Bye.